Hello beautiful seekers, this is Clarity1129 and welcome to a pick a card reading. Uh, this is all about the spring equinox which is going to happen on the 20th of March. It's uh, a wonderful time to sow seeds of intention uh, at this time so that you can work uh, towards whatever your goals are. You can uh, make plans you know you uh, first dream it in your mind and then you bring it out and actually take action towards it so that within um, by the time we have the autumnal uh, equinox which is the half wave point of the year uh, you can see how much progress you've made and what you need to change and what you need to tweak to get that success all right so keeping that in mind I have um, made a quick reading i've done uh, there's no live shuffling i've already shuffled and laid out your cards oracle as well as your tarot cards and it's just a, a quick look into what you can do during this time and um, to just provide some sort of clarity all right so uh, as i record this it is the i think 11th of march and i hope to post it in a day or two so you have sufficient uh, time you know to um see this i mean it, it reaches as many of you as it can during this time so that you can actually prepare yourself for what's coming ahead all right so uh without further delay uh, let me introduce you to the piles pile number one is the radiant weight tarot um, pile number two is the light seers tarot and pile number three is the morgan greer tarot all right so take a deep breath Relax as you exhale and whichever pile you're instinctively drawn to, that is your pile. You can choose more than one. You can see all three. But just remember, as I always say, that everything in every pile is not meant for you. Maybe there's just one or two messages. You will know. Trust your intuition at all times. And whatever you feel is relevant to you, is what's calling out to you, that is meant for you. What you don't agree with, what is just not yours, your intuition will let you know. Do not take um, that into consideration. It's for someone else who's going to uh, see this reading. It is a general reading and a timeless one. You're meant to see it as and when you stumble upon it. But in any case, do not try to force fit a pile for you, all right? Anything for you, even if it's uh, a single message. If you find that nothing resonates, it's all right look at uh, some other reading or maybe there is nothing in this for you uh, um, which is okay but at no uh, time should you you know force something uh, on yourself and be uncomfortable about it tarot readings are only meant to give you clarity or bring out something which is already in your subconscious which you already know all right um, it's just that when you see it it becomes an aha moment for you that oh yes this is something i should have thought about you know, it will uh, resonate with you like that. It will be very strong. So if that isn't happening, then uh, chances are there's no message in this for you. All right. Always keep that in mind. Finally, at the end of the day, it's not the tarot readings or crystals that empower you. You empower yourself. All right. So listen to your intuition. Listen to your heart and always follow that. All right. So let's begin. Let me move out these cards. So we begin with pile number one so pile number one those who chose the beautiful radiant weight tarot and these are your oracle messages i'll take out one card first and i'll even read this out to you all right you get peach inhale a breath of life all right we'll keep this here and we lay down your card is that visible right we begin with the seven of pentacles the magician wow the two of cups the empress 
the Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. All right. Just give me a minute. Um, the glare of this light is so much, I can't see whether you can see everything. Just give me a sec. Okay, I think everything's coming in the frame. Maybe we'll put this up a bit. Yes, I think everything's coming. And we'll take out these cards as well. And we'll put them down for you. You get Owl Spirit. You see clearly now. And you get the Armadillo Spirit. Set healthy boundaries. All right. So, pile number one. Ouch. I'm sorry about that. I've given this a nice shake. Oh. That tells me something's going to really happen during this time, all right? You may, may feel things are moving a little fast, but just whenever you feel things are out of your control or you feel uncomfortable, just take a deep breath and relax. And tell yourself that you're fortunate to be here in this beautiful universe of ours where there are so many wonderful things and you're not going to let one little thing that's going wrong in your life, which feels like a big thing, you're not going to let it take from you. All right. You consciously bring yourself to the present moment and you will see that things start looking up for you. OK, so let's begin. The first card is what has emerged for you over the uh, last you know this entire period of winters okay the winters are gone and spring is here so you just basically this card is to look uh, back the last few months and see what is it that you have gained or what has happened and where are you right now so you get the seven of pentacles so it's possible that you're already working on something you've put in your effort and you're in this energy right now of seeing why uh, am I not seeing results. All right. There's also a possibility that you're comparing yourself with people around you saying that you've put in a lot of effort as they have maybe a little more, maybe you're, uh, you know, a little more um, meticulous and you've got things done in the right way in the best possible way that you could do it and you're expecting to see results and you're not seeing so this is where you are at right now all right so there's a message in it for you that things will start showing up now for you so when you are in this mode you know when you find that you're looking at all the effort that you put in and you feel that nothing's coming to you you're just being asked to take that deep breath all right and trust the universe it's going to come Okay. And what lessons have you learned? So now if you've learned from this, you will finally learn that there's no point in looking outside uh, and seeing that the world is like this and everyone's doing it right. And I'm not getting it right. I've done all this. You get this beautiful magician card here. And this is the lesson that you're going to learn if you haven't learned it already is that as within so without all right you have to first if there is a dream that you have if there is something that you want to manifest the rule the golden rule is one that you actually know what you want and you see it clearly in your mind's eye you just know exactly what you want if you require it, put it down on paper and then just bring that wish out all right in, uh, and give it to the universe and say this is what I really want with all my heart and I'm going to put in my work towards this in such and such a way and I trust that the best will come to me and initially you might feel you're faking it but it doesn't matter you fake it till you make it all right so you believe it even as you say it and you uh, you'll have that little thought coming that oh but this is not done am I really uh you know, I could have done this better. No, don't let those thoughts be there. You can keep working on it. Keep tweaking your projects wherever you feel something's not okay. Something's not, uh, you know, you've goofed up somewhere. That's all right. We're human. This is a human experience, right? We'll do that. But you keep working on it. Do not get dejected. 
every time you uh, have a negative thought replace it with a positive thought so that you can manifest what you want so first of all you've got to be clear and whatever you've already done in the past if you feel things are not working out uh, it's just because things take time for some people and your your uh, race is not with somebody else all right you you are the only person you have to worry about so if you've put in work you know there's no way that things won't work out they will all right sometimes um maybe you've thought about something wrongly or you've uh, sown your seeds uh, maybe you, you know you haven't watered enough it enough or you've watered it too much so maybe you've put in too much effort uh, in doing something and you need to just relax when you finally uh, you know accept things as they are i have done this this and this i have tried you know asking people i've read so much about it and i have done everything that's possible and now i'm just leaving it to luck say or you know uh, i think i've wasted enough time um, enough number of months or for however long you've put in that effort and things are not happening keep at it do other things enjoy life but do not go into that negativity because you know if there's something coming to to you because of all that effort you've put in when god is going to bless you the universe is coming with abundance to give it to you and then you say no this is not happening i think it was all a waste of time then you stall what's coming to you okay the universe says that you don't trust me right now maybe you're not ready for what you want what you think inside is what is going to come to you so if you think positive only the best will come to you all right you get this card this is the ultimate card of manifestation all right so this is what you're learning at this time that you know you've done everything you've put on all the effort in the world you've done a great job of it and you realize that it's only your mindset that's keeping it from coming to you so you just trust the universe and you say i've done all that i can do and i'll keep putting in effort as and when required but i trust the universe and i'm going to enjoy the journey and then you just see what happens all right and what new seeds are beginning to sprout and you get this beautiful two of cups so this could play out in two ways for some of you it's going to be a, a relationship so it's possible that you put in a lot of effort and what's going to actually sprout is this beautiful maybe you have had someone on your mind and you've been hoping that they uh you know feel the same way well if that is the case then the other person's going to show you will come to know you'll get that clarity with this you see clearly now things are going to come out in the open all right everything whether it's your work whether it's your uh, relationship uh, with your family whether it's a romantic connection whatever it is uh you will start th seeing things clearly till now you couldn't see things all right that's why you were looking at it and wondering why things are not happening um and why things are delayed or why this is happening for you in the way it is happening it will all become clear to you all right during this 6 month period from now to the next um so uh, yes as i was saying Uh, for some of you the new seeds that are sprouting is you are uh, going to you know either have a new relationship a beautiful uh, relationship maybe a it could be a friendship but um, this is usually a soulmate uh, connection so there's someone who understands you who is ready to meet you halfway it's a beautiful relationship and this is coming your way for others of you uh it could be that you are going to get into a partnership uh you know or begin a big business with somebody some sort of collaboration which is going to uh give you a lot of emotional satisfaction as well as be as well as a whole lot of um success all right so that's something really beautiful that you are sowing and you will actually start begin you've already done some the spade work for it all right and uh, you will start see these uh, seeds sprouting within these 6 months okay 
and how can you nurture these new opportunities whether it's a relationship or a work um, scenario whatever it is that you have been uh, manifesting how can you make it happen sooner and i've already told you about this magician and here i'm what you get is the empress the beautiful empress the empress is all about abundance all right uh, this is the card of Taurus and Libra, basically uh, ruled by Venus. All right. She is abundant. She is highly fertile. So uh, for those of you who want to have a child, this is the right time. You know, it's happening. It'll happen. You have to just I mean, you are at your fertile best. It's also, uh, you know, if you've got some creative idea, uh, maybe to write a book or you're an artist or whatever it is, this is the time wherein whatever you have been um, hoping to get all right with the seven of pentacles for each person it's going to be a different thing you will know what's best or uh, i mean what it is all right you'll know best now you've been told uh, that you are the master manifester and you can actually bring this and this is the lesson you're learning you can just bring this you know it'll just fall into your lap even better than what you imagine only if you keep a positive uh, outlook all right because you have got everything that it takes to manifest what you want and you're seeing this beautiful things coming your way and what you're being asked to do is to actually attract things to you instead of chasing after things you've done your bit you've just enjoy the journey now and feel abundant okay do away with your uh, lack mindset or poverty consciousness if you keep feeling i don't have they have they have done this much and they've got so much basically the message you're putting out there is you are not happy with what you have there is this lack mentality and if you are you know you will feel that if you uh, think you're in a lack then the universe will provide for you saying that oh this person's lacking let's give them everything no it doesn't work like that you have to your energy has to be at the same a vibration as what you want. So if you are in this lack mentality, all you will get to you, uh, I mean, towards you is lack. So if you want abundance, you've got to feel abundant first. You've got to feel like you have it. It's only then that you can attract things to you. Okay, so this is exactly what you're being told right now. How are you truly blossoming and you get the Ten of Swords? Now, do not get dejected. Ten of Swords is uh, typically, as you can see, here's a man lying on the floor and there are uh, ten swords. Now, swords represent thoughts. So basically, you feel betrayed by somebody. But the good thing is that when you talk about ten, it's completion. So you are completing the cycle of lack, of feeling betrayed, of you know a feeling that things are not coming to you this you because of this magician card here that you've learned the lesson and um, perhaps you're taking away from this tarot reading the fact that you attract things by feeling abundant and putting an end to your lack mentality and to everything that's negative see it's not easy it's not going to happen overnight and i'm telling you all this it's not that i don't uh, get negative thoughts in my head in fact i'm an aquarian and I do have a great tendency to overthink. In fact, uh, the Ten of Swords is my perpetual companion in every reading, <laughs> all right? But the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords uh, and the Nine of Swords, these are all my constant companions because I do think a lot too. But I'm consciously, uh, every time I see my um, head going into uh, darker thoughts, negative thoughts, I try and do something, maybe learn something or listen to music or do something which will get me out of it. All right. And that's what you're being asked to do. And you're learning that already the cycle of uh, whatever has gone. Uh, see, when I'm saying Ten of Swords, I'm not trying to undermine what you may have gone through. But whatever you have been through, you are coming out of it triumphant. And this is where you're going to blossom. You know, I always believe when you've being through pain is when you learn compassion, when you learn understanding, all right? Because then you you actually start becoming um, empathetic to the other person's, uh, you know, the next person's uh, life. You don't, you stop judging people. 
So this is a great learning process for you and you're coming out of it now. And so you are actually blossoming. You're ready with this Empress energy and this magician here. Uh, beautiful things are just waiting to come to you. Okay. And how can you best embrace this beautiful energy of spring and you get the seven of wands. So this is not the time here with the seven of pentacles. You're looking at it and feeling dejected. But you get that spark back because you know that you are going to manifest what you want in your life and you are abundant and this cycle is coming to an end. So you are, you know, recharged and you are ready to fight anything that comes your way. You're back in the game again and you've got your spark back and you are going to do whatever it takes for you to, uh, you know, uh, thrive. All right, to thrive and to succeed in whatever you do. So this is an additional message of set healthy boundaries. So it's possible that this ten of swords that hap has happened in your past, which you are completing and coming out of, this will teach you to set healthy boundaries. Maybe you've let somebody or a group of people come so close to you that they've taken advantage of you because you had loose boundaries. So this is a lesson you're going to learn. Uh, allow people in don't close off your heart all right keep your heart open but set healthy boundaries it's only when people don't have healthy boundaries that uh, they get hurt and then they tend to put walls up around them all right so you guard against that set healthy boundaries let people respect you and know that you respect yourself so they will respect you in turn all right i'm going to read out this card number 19 for you Wow, I just opened the page and the first thing that came was this. Peach releases uh, stress and tension from your body, softening all hardness and dissolving any density, especially in the lungs and chest. It also brings gentleness, kindness and friendliness to your life, opening you to new possibilities and assisting you to attract prosperity. Just look at that. So th this is all that. You know, when I said that when you go through a dark time like this, you know, when you are hurt and you are down is only then when you learn compassion. It is only then that you can actually understand other people and the uh, trials and tribulations that they go through because you've been through it yourself. All right. And all this gentleness that's going to come is because of this. You are going to be in this beautiful place and you're going to attract a lot of love and a lot of abundance that's exactly what this says okay so you're being asked for those of you who are interested and just reading this bit to you rub your hands together and then move them slightly apart focus on the tingling energy that is moving through your hands imagining sparks of peach coming out of them and place that ha those hands of yours on your chest and allow these peach colored sparks to penetrate through your chest and lungs, awakening any stuck energy and releasing stagnation. After a few minutes, hold your right hand above your chest, moving it in a clockwise direction. Do this for two minutes while focusing on taking slow, deep breaths. As you breathe out, allow the tension in your lungs and throat to release. When you breathe in, visualize vibrant healing peach rays regenerating your lungs now focus on what you love in your life already and what you would love to experience more of visualize receiving these increase of joy in your life and say i am now able to fully embrace all the wonderful experiences in my life has to offer with joy ease and love all right, so that's all I have for you, pile number one. I hope this reading resonated for you. And uh, there are six months waiting to happen from the uh, 20th of March. Make the most of it. Know that all those blessings are just waiting to come. All right, but don't wait for them. You live your life, enjoy the journey and know that you are the master um, the manifester. You are the magician and you are the empress. So everything is just waiting to come to you. Just trust the universe. All right. So with that, I come to the end of your reading. Take care till we meet next time. Be good. Stay safe. Bye bye. And now we will come to pile number two. 
those who chose the Light Seer's Tarot, welcome to your reading. So pile number two, let me lay out your cards first. You get silver, be persistent. All right, we'll put your card here and I'll lay out the rest of your cards. Is it visible? Actually, the, the way I've placed the light, I really can't see. There's a lot of glare. You get the Eight of Wands. Justice. The Hermit. The World. The Queen of Cups. And the Star. Wow. Wow. I lots uh, lay these out. Dolphin spirit, this and that are true. And the coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. All right, pile number two. You're getting ready for your reading. I'll just take a sip of water. All right. <clears throat> so what has emerged over the winter months for you, pile number two. Eight of Wands, there's a lot of movement in your life and you're feeling it, all right? Uh, so whether it's a creative project or whether it's your connection with people, there's a lot of communication, there's a lot of movement in your life right now. You've got creative ideas coming in. It's, it's a very healthy and a very um, forward moving card. So this is exactly what's happening, all right? So. You're already well um, into movement right now. And what are the lessons that you have learned? You have learned all about justice. Maybe, uh, in fact, you've got uh, Libra, Virgo, Aquarius. You even got um, the four fixed signs, which would be again, Aquarius, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, and, 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 and Leo, as well as Cancer. All right. You may or may not be any of these signs, but yes. Um, okay, so what was I saying? Yes, what are the lessons that you've learned over this period of time? You have learned that the only way to move forward, to move ahead, to get all the success you want is to be fair to ensure that people are fair to you and to ensure that you are fair to people. That is the only way to be. That's the only way to have balance. Okay, so this is what you have learned that the only way, just like the chariot, you know, the only way for the chariot to move forward towards success is to balance the white horse and the black horse. All right, so you have to be in perfect balance. You, everyone has positive and negative. You've got to balance this, uh, both to move forward. If you eradicate uh, negativity, you'll actually lose out. It has to be there, but it has to be in balance. All right. And this is what you're learning. You're, le you're embracing everything about you. You're embracing your uh, dark side and you're working with it. And you've realized that you've got to be fair to yourself and you've got to be fair to everyone because everyone's journey has its ups and downs just like yours have and you know that the only way to do it is when you things around um, within you is balanced you find that the world around you is balanced and because you've mastered this because you've learned this lesson that's why there's so much of movement in your life and positive movement okay what new uh, seeds are beginning to sprout and you get the hermit card You've been doing a lot of introspection, all right? And I believe that the seeds for pile number two, one of the seeds that are beginning to sprout for you is this beautiful spiritual awakening, all right? You are going to get, um, either you are unlocking some psychic gifts or you are going to get that aha moment, which you have been thinking about for quite some time. Some great amount of clarity is going to come to you. 
all right so if you've been meditating or if you've been you know just uh, sitting with yourself and going over everything uh, it's not in vain you're going to get a whole lot of clarity and depending on uh, you know where each of you are at you are going to get answers you know it's almost like um, I won't say enlightenment but you are going to be enlightened about something which will actually make a huge difference in your life all right and how can you nurture the opportunities that come your way and you get the world card so just as justice talks about balance the world talks about cycles so you are completing an old cycle and with this hermit energy you are going to get that uh you know that cl uh, clarity that aha moment that epiphany which is going to close out an old cycle and begin a new cycle which is going to bring you a whole lot of success in whichever area um, of your life it is you will know best for each of you it's going to be different all right but this is beautiful as long as you maintain this balance and you just make sure that you're fair to yourself and others you know i keep saying to yourself because most of us are um, you know have that sense of being correct when it comes to other people but we always leave ourselves out of it and that's why whenever i speak i uh, you know whenever i do a reading i always reiterate the importance of first being kind to yourself all right as they say charity begins at home kindness begins with yourself so uh, whether it's justice fairness kindness whatever it is you first you, you make sure that you give that to yourself and then give that to all those around you and accept nothing less all right how are you truly blossoming and this is such a beautiful card actually this is a beautiful reading you've got such positive cards and you've got four major arcana everything is so positive and delightful in your reading and the best thing is you got this silver be persistent all right so you've really worked on yourself you've really worked on your healing and you are still meditating okay you've made this a part of your life and that is why this is where you're truly blossoming you are in a very stable place emotionally. Your cup of love is full. You are bathed in your cup of love. You understood self-love. All right. Which is why you're able to be just to yourself and those around you. Which is why things are moving in your life. And it's so beautiful. Which is why you're closing out any old cycle. And you're, you know, successfully completing a cycle. Look at this girl smiling here in this picture she's so happy all right so that's what you've done you've put in a lot of work and the universe is re rewarding you for it and how can you best embrace spring energy and you get the star the best way to do it for you pile number two is to shine all right be your true authentic self and let the world see you and get inspired by you this is such a beautiful card, such beautiful energy. You've put in a lot of work and that's why this is happening. This and that are true. And you have realized this with this justice card. You are not judging anyone. All right. You know that everyone's got their hands full and you are, you understand that. And that's why you know, you know, that because you have healed yourself, you have dealt with your shadow energy, you have actually seen that yes everyone has a light and a shade side to them and you've accepted your own and that's why you're able to bring this um, beautiful balance in your life and people are seeing that all right and you are seeing that about people that this and that are true so um, you are not being judgmental of people you accept them for who they are you are ready to hear their side of things all right and that's why this is beautiful beautiful energy i'm just feeling so good and that's why if things are so beautiful and uh you get this coyote coyote spirit trust in divine detours so if things um by the looks of your um spread 
I don't think uh, you have any lack of trust in the divine or whether the divine timing or divine detours or whatever it is, all right? You have complete trust and faith, but if it is just that one little answer that you're waiting for, some sort of clarity, even that is going to come to you. And maybe this is why this has come to you here, that this is one thing that you're waiting for and it is going to come to you. Okay, this is the time. These next six months, you're going to see that. And what you're being asked to do is you've been doing great work. You have got balance in your life, but you know, healing and shadow work is not something that you do and you keep aside. You've got to do it forever. All right. You don't uh, in bits and pieces, whenever you need to, you have to keep doing it. And med meditation is also an ongoing process. You don't just give it up. All right. And that's why you're being told be persistent. I'll read out this card to you before I close out the reading. <clears throat> uh, here we are. Silver. Silver is the color of peace and persistence, calming nervous tension, bringing serenity and expanding awareness. Silver also strengthens the healing process through purification, releasing disease, diseases and density from the body and flushing toxicity from blood and tissues. This includes healing the kidneys and balancing hormonal function as well as bringing clarity. Silver is also great for protection and grounding. Strengthen your intention and resolve with silver rays of light. Stand up straight and focus on what you would like to achieve or experience. Imagine silver rays of light, of light intertwining themselves around you, strengthening your intention and resolve. Allow them to hold you up taller and stronger. Now imagine a silver ray of light that creates a bridge between your mind and your goal. For the next three days, focus on strengthening the silver bridge until you feel that you're confident enough to walk over it. Receive what you want and bring it back into the present. The more you feel like you already have it, the faster you will manifest it. Remember, when you continually focus positive attention on a goal, it is impossible not to manifest it. Say, I am confident, clear and persistent. Wonderful things now flow into my life at the perfect time. This is so beautiful pile number two, just like everything else in your reading. And I think this whole thing is about this aha moment that you're going to receive and it's going to really change your life. Your life is already moving in a beautiful direction and it's going to get even better. And people are going to be really inspired by you. All right. So that's all I have for you, pile number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, I'd love to hear about it. Well, till we meet again, be good, stay safe. Bye bye. And last but not the least, we come to pile number three. Those who chose the Morgan Greer Tarot. All right, we begin your reading. The card that you get is Plum, Overcome Your Challenges. We'll put that here. I'll read from the book at the end of the reading. I'll lay down your cards. We begin with the Page of Swords, the Hierophant, the Moon, the Tower, the Knight of Pentacles, and the beautiful Ten of Cups. We also have Crow Spirit, Co-Create with Spirit. And lion spirit, be generous of spirit. Wow, that's a lot of spirit. <laughs> okay, pile number three. <clears throat> what do you have to know for the spring equinox? What has emerged during this winter period? Well, for some of you, you've done a lot of learning, all right? either online, maybe you've done online classes, on, you know, some courses online, or uh, you've received some sort of uh, 
communication, which has changed your way of thinking. But um, for most of you, you have actually spent uh, some time and it's usually uh, this um, the page of swords is considered um, the spy. Okay, you're finding out what's happening. But and it's also possible that uh, maybe you're in this, um, you know, you're trying to work on something and you're trying to look at what others are doing so that, uh, you know, you get some ideas for yourself. But mostly what I'm getting is that um, a whole lot of you have been putting an effort into something. You've been trying to learn something new, maybe, uh, you know, taken some new classes or something like that. All right. We'll see as we move on. And what lessons have you learned? And you get the Hierophant. Yes, I do feel that for a whole lot of you uh, with this card here is that you have actually been studying. All right. You've actually uh, uh, tried to gain knowledge in some area. For each person, it will be different. For some of you, it will be in your, um, you know, you, if for those of you who are working, who are working, Maybe in your own uh, field of work, you uh, try to learn something more, maybe to advance your skill, go to the next level. For others of you, it may not be work related. It could be a hobby. It may be something new. But uh, the lessons that you have learned from this is that it's opened your thinking. All right. Uh, the Hierophant is all about higher learning. It's all about it is also a card of traditional thinking um, and mm, traditions or maybe you know with the page of swords here which is a card of aquarius maybe you've got an insight to uh, you know you think out of the box but you've also realized that you know uh, there is something in the traditional way of thinking as well so you're trying to perhaps mix both of them together because finally aquarius is ruled by Uranus as well as Saturn. Saturn is traditional. Uranus is the tower moment here. All right. Who wants to shift things and bring that brings that element of surprise in your life. So uh, this is what you have possibly learned. Um, for some of you, you could have also learned things from the esoteric sciences. Some of you would have uh, possibly uh, studied astrology or numerology or tarot tarot readings tarot cards or something like that whatever it is that um uh you know interested you from some time the, you've taken out this time to learn that and the lessons you've learned from it is not just the lessons that you've learned i mean as uh the course but also the fact that it's broadened your horizons all right you're able to uh, look at things from a wider perspective. And this is beautiful because this will come really handy because you will be able to look at things. Uh, when you look at things from a broader perspective, you know, you don't control outcomes. You know that uh, there are limitless possibilities and perhaps this is what you are learning. Okay, you've either learned or you're in the process of learning. Okay, and what new seeds are beginning to sprout? Now, again, like pile number two, I have a feeling with this moon and next to the Hierophant that a lot many of you who have actually been uh, delving into esoteric, into the esoteric world, you have actually, you are going to be uh, getting in touch with your intuition. Your intuition is going to be on point, uh, you know. Uh, you are going to actually be unlocking your psychic gifts. You are going to get this clarity, some answers from within you, which are going to change your life big time. Uh, this is very, uh, if you've been, uh, you know, if you feel like, I mean, if you had while choosing your pile, felt the need to check pile number two you might have a message there for you but you definitely are going to unlock some psychic gifts all right or at the least if you've been having a confusion or uh, some sort of doubt about certain things and you're looking for answers those answers are coming to you all right and how can you nurture these new uh, opportunities? And you get the tower card. 
yes pile number three with this moon card here next to the hierophant i feel you're going to have this epiphany you know you are going to have this realization maybe you'll get clairvoyant or something but something is coming to focus some clarity you are going to get which is going to actually act like a tower moment for you and you because you will see that how you've been seeing things for such a long time has been false you know has been based on something which is not solid and you will change your thinking in a big way it's going to be a huge shift for you it's going to be a huge shift for you and with this crumbling of your ideas and everything that you've been holding up for you know maybe you've been so staunchly uh, after a certain idea or something you've just been after it okay and you'll find that that's actually you realize that that wasn't um serving you and that you know you get this aha moment and it's not from outside it's from within you okay you will get this and it will shift your thinking in such a way because you've done a lot of uh, work on yourself you've done a lot of reading a lot of research and the, this is why with these two cards is very powerful both are major arcana very po powerful energies okay so you are going to get those answers and that is going to actually shake your foundation big time. Whatever it is that you're doing or how you've been thinking, it's going to be, a, it's almost like a 180 degree opposite chain. It's going to be something, it's not something that you can ignore. It will happen. And this is going to shift your life in a beautiful direction. Okay. So people look at the tower as something scary. Obviously, the image that they make of the tower is so scary. But the truth is that it's just taking away things that are not serving you. But you've been comfortable with it because sometimes even when things are harming us, we're so used to it that we'd rather stick with the same thing that's upsetting us than leave it and go looking for happiness because that is then unknown for us all right so you are going to change that now this tower moment is going to happen in these next uh, coming six months and is going to change your life for the better and how are you truly blossoming uh and you get the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight but it is also the most solid knight all right the only one who is moving who will not have to retrace their steps okay the knight of swords moves um, in full speed goes ahead but not knowing the full truth the knight of wands goes and comes back with the same speed all right the knight of cups is a totally different emotion a um, person with a lot of emotions may not have something solid to offer but the knight of pentacles always has something to offer they check they recheck and <laughs> they check check a lot many more times uh, and that's why they're slow but then they deliver all right and so this is the energy that you're in you have done so much of research so much of studies and after this tower moment you'll find that you get so much of clarity that you start moving faster all right despite the knight of pentacles energy you actually you've done all that so if you've been going slow with this tower moment, you will start moving ahead steadily, all right? And how can you best embrace the spring energy and you get this beautiful Ten of Cups? You're going to get this ultimate satisfaction, okay? The Ten of Cups, traditionally, uh, you'll see the same rainbow and the Ten Cups, which is basically uh, cups represent emotions. You're going to be in a beautiful place, very happy. And usually they show a father and uh, I mean, a father and mother, a couple and a few children there and this lovely rainbow to show your happiness. So this is what's coming to you. All right. You're going to be in a very happy place, a very, very happy place. And additionally, you get grow spirit co-create with spirit so if you have something in your mind and you're already with this hierophant here you already know it you don't need to be told this because you're already co-creating spirit further with this aha moment that you're going to have have which is going to actually bring your whatever has not been serving you but you've been holding on to that's going to go away from your life okay and then you're going to co-create with spirit something solid 
in whichever area of your life it is and it's going to bring you great satisfaction all right lot of emotional fulfillment and you're also getting this card be generous of spirit okay so i think by the time you're done with this tower moment this will come to you naturally and that's why there's so much of abundance and happiness and emotional fulfillment waiting for you all right so right now and i think this is why you've got this overcome your challenges is when you have this aha moment and when this tower happens it is not going to be easy it is for your benefit yes it is going to change your life completely yes but that and when it transitions and the life changes will you get happiness yes but no change no transition no transformation is easy all right but you're being asked to just hold on overcome your challenges all right so let me read this out for you from the book plum overcome your challenges plum is a color of devotion dedication and commitment that connects you that connects you to your heart and life purpose creating deep bonds in friendships and relationships it also assists you to stay strong through hardships and difficult situations plum is a color of deep inner strength and faith Use plum rays to overcome challenges and discover your life purpose. If you're facing something difficult, make sure you surround yourself with plum. Wear plum clothes, shoes or jewelry. Eat plums, paint with this color or visualize a ray of plum to soothe your heart and soul. Find the gift in this challenging experience and allow its insights to come to your mind. Say divine spirit please use the plum ray to guide me through any challenges i may experience with ease grace and softness all right so with that we come to the end of your reading pile number three i hope it resonated with you uh, if you feel called to check pile number two do so all right and till we meet next time be good stay safe bye bye